everyone and welcome back I bet it is for you TV uh, we are back again here as we have a, a fantastic Saturday to look forward uh, with a lot of games uh, in anticipation of course to the final uh, round of the uh, Premier League which will be take place tomorrow so tomorrow we will have uh, uh, all the analysis and tips from our expert uh, uh, Robbie Billund Premier League expert Robbie Billund but for today, there are still great opportunities to bet and we are going to provide you tips on um, both uh, from here, here, here Bet This For You TV at quarter and also we are going to Italy to get some tips from the Italia and the Spanish La Liga. So there are great opportunities to bet. Uh, make sure, and there will be a lot of opportunities to bet in the next days and weeks as we enter in a phase where uh, the Euro is starting to get uh, closer and closer. And here I've been this for you, TV, and please to report that we will follow the whole competition with tips, analysis, and uh, of course, the best uh, prediction from our expert. Let's hope that we can win, uh, have a great summer, and win a lot of bets. So make sure you subscribe to our channel, that will allow you to uh, get access to all our uh, videos for free and also in notifications so you can get notification on your phone, your handset as soon as we release a new video, that is the best way to avoid missing out any of our tips and also ensure that you have enough time to analyze it and make your own mind really. In addition to that, if you like some of the bets that we will suggest in this show, please check into the description below as we have made the artwork to uh, prepare all the links for you so you just need to click on those links and the bets that we suggest in the show will magically load on the bookmaker site that we suggested so we normally pick the bookmakers based on uh, how high the odds are against the tips that we supply so by winning our tips you probably get better return by betting on those bookmakers plus normally those bookmakers offer some uh, uh, some free bets and uh, welcome bonus when you sign up so and uh, make sure you check those there uh, it will save you time and it will also ensure that you get a better return obviously odds are, are subject to change so uh, although we do our best efforts to put the best bookmakers there that have the highest odds uh, there are always opportunity that odds have changed so double check them before betting let's uh, now go uh, through what we're gonna have in this show so first of all we're gonna start with a double uh, released by our expert here appendix for you uh, tv and then we are heading to italy where our uh, local expert lucas Emproni will give us the tips on the Serie A and spanish la liga so let's start immediately with the uh, double released by our expert here <clears throat> I bet in this for you TV and the first uh, match is uh, so this double I can tell you is both on is focusing on the championship playoff a second leg the first match that we have analyzed is uh, Brentford against Bournemouth and we are backing Brentford to win so obviously uh, Brentford have a lot of work to do to ensure they can get to the final of the playoff uh, after they were defeated um, in the first leg uh, by Bournemouth who managed to get a 1-0 win thanks to uh, Arnaud uh, Danjuma's second half goal and uh, they are obviously uh, now in leading position they also avoided to concede a goal which is very important in this kind of ties however we do expect Brentford to um, to cause uh, the Cherries a lot of problems uh, Brentford they uh, the one nil is obviously uh, very much uh, still uh, um, so Brentford are very much still in in the tie we just just one nil defeat and uh, in the first leg if we have watched the game you probably noticed that the that um, they play well against the Sherries uh, they obviously couldn't find the edge in the final third but uh, if we look at the stats the bees the bees out uh, outshot Bournemouth eleven to nine and also Thomas Frank team collected 58% of the possession in the first leg and considering they were playing away from home that's a, a really good start to have and, and we give confidence to them in the um, ahead of this second leg they have also had more passes against Bournemouth so that 439 against 319 and um, they will want to uh, go back into the final if you remember last year they were defeated by Fulham in the playoff final and um, 
they are also coming apart from if we exclude this defeat in the first leg they are coming in good form Brentford and have also won the two league matches play against the Sheriffs this season as they won 3-1 and 2-0 uh, earlier uh, so they will they will know that they can defeat Bournemouth obviously uh, Frank Thomas Frank will need his best man to um, to deliver in this uh, in this important game and um, if we look at the form of recent weeks, uh, Brentford uh, uh, have took uh, 14 points from the last 18 uh, in uh, the division and also have, um, have won all the last four matches uh, of the regular season. So they are in good form and um, uh, they defeated uh, Bournemouth for 3-1 uh, away and 2-1. Uh, I said 2-0 before is 2-1 at the community stadium uh, so um, definitely Brentford have the quality up front to um, to win this match after all they can rely on striker Ivan Toni who has been in fantastic form this season scoring 31 goals in 45 games obviously he failed to score against Bournemouth uh, in the first leg but uh, with in a match where we expect uh, the beast to go all out flying in attack. Uh, we do, and we do expect him to uh, to step up and help um, Brentford to qualify uh, or at least win this match uh, uh, in the road to the final of the playoff. So we do expect uh, Brentford. We do believe they have uh, the quality to win this match to turn this tie around at least uh, and. Uh, or at least to win the match. So we are backing Brentford to win uh, as there is a very good value in the odds. Uh, whether they're going to turn the, the tie around or not uh, is something that we possibly believe they will, but we are not going to risk that. We're just going to go for Brentford to win as the first selection of our Saturday double. The second selection of the double is uh, also the, se uh, the second semi-final of the uh, championship and is uh, the under 2.5 goal in uh, Swansea and Bansley. So Swansea are coming into this uh, uh, second leg in a driving seat. They managed to win the, the first leg uh, uh, away from home with a 1-0 um, uh, result uh, thanks to a brilliant strike from Andre Ayew. Steve Cooper's team look to have that kind of experience and quality just to uh, en enough quality and experience to just uh, uh, get an edge in the first leg and it's difficult to see that uh, uh, Barnsley will be able to turn this around at the, in, in, in Wales so after all Barnsley play a decent game in the first leg but they looked a little bit shaky in the final third and also, um, if we look at the stats, we can see that the Tykes managed to outshoot, uh, outshoot um, Swansea uh, 11 to 9, but still um, the, the possession was split. And, and with, the, with the Swansea, they've been very good at home um, this season. We do expect that they will be able to control uh, the match a lot better and uh, also potentially win also this game but um, we believe the value being in the goal market as i said before we are backing uh, uh, the under 2.5 um swansea after all have uh, um have won all three games against the tyke so it's difficult to see them struggling controlling them if we look at the results aggregate the results of those three games they have defeated Barnsley 5-0 and uh, uh, so they have confidence that they can uh, uh, probably keep things tight and preserve the away goal that they had. And uh, also, both sides haven't been in great form in recent times. Uh, if we look at the, the recent results in the, um, in, in the regular season, we can see that uh, the Swans won only two of the last six matches in the league, but Bansley won only three of the last six. So there are two teams that uh, um, once even will, they will not take too, much, too many risks and the same can be said for Barnsley who will know that eventually even a late goal um, from them will actually get them back in the tie. So they will be careful not to concede too many goals uh, early on. So that means that uh, the under 2.5 is particularly attractive. And if we look uh, at the, the, the stats of the matches between uh, those two sides, we can see that the last five uh, of uh, uh, this, this match, um, the, the last five instances, of this uh, uh, fixture have always delivered uh, the under 2.5 and considering how much is on stake uh, we believe this trend to continue so the second selection is 
and the 2.5 in uh, Swan CV Bansley. And that concludes our double for uh, uh, Saturday, our championship playoff double, which we back with uh, medium confidence. Um, we believe there are very good opportunities uh, for this uh, uh, bet to come through, but obviously there are some risks as we're talking about uh, playoffs. So uh, teams are going to give everything they can. So um, that's, uh, that's it for our tips here, but stay with us as we are going immediately to Italy as uh, we have more tips coming from mainline Europe as uh, uh, we have the last uh, round uh, in both Italy and Spain. So let's see what Luca has to say to us and where we can find betting opportunities there. Luca, that's over to you. Ciao Smolek, come al solito, benvenuto a tutte le persone che ci seguono su Betting Tips for You. Oggi vogliamo eh, proporvi una doppia con una partita dal campionato italiano e una partita dal campionato spagnolo. Ultima eh, giornata di, campo, di campionato, poi spazio europeo e le scommesse sui campionati europei. Eh, dicevamo vogliamo giocare Crotone Fiorentina 1. Il Crotone viene da un pareggio, due vittorie e due sconfitte nelle ultime 5. Nell'ultima di campionato 1 a 1 a Benevento, pareggio che ha condannato alla retrocessione gli uomini di Filippo Inzaghi. E prima ancora il Benevento aveva vinto due in casa con il Verona. Eh, ha avuto uno scatto d'orgoglio nelle ultime giornate il Benevento perché aveva dichiarato infatti Mr. Cosmi che lui e la sua squadra volevano evitare l'ultimo posto. Infatti il Benevento eh, ha raggiunto la penultima posizione con 22 punti a 20 c'è il Parma. Vogliamo giocare l'uno perché ecco, crediamo che comunque il Benevento voglia evitare, eh, scusate, il Crotone voglia evitare la... Eh, l'ultima posizione e quindi provare a vincere la Fiorentina invece una sconfitta, una vittoria e tre pareggi nelle ultime cinque nell'ultima campionata ha perso 2-0 in casa con il Napoli eh, diciamo che la Fiorentina una volta raggiunta la salvezza um, due domeniche fa mi vinto 2-0 in casa con la Lazio ha un po' staccato la spina perché poi a Cagliari ha fatto un pareggio molto molto mh, deludente 0-0 e appunto sconfitta in casa con la Lazio non sembra più avere motivazioni i giocatori eh, anche perché ecco mister Iachini ha eh, dichiarato eh, che non sarà più l'allenatore della Fiorentina per il prossimo anno quindi ha già comunicato alla squadra la sua decisione ci aspettiamo che ecco, il Crotone possa vincere è comunque una partita difficile perché è difficile ma paga molto la seconda partita sulla quale vogliamo scommettere è Elche Athletic Bilbao 1 L'Elce viene da due vittorie e tre sconfitte nelle ultime cinque, nell'ultima di campionato ha vinto 3-1 fuori casa a Cadice e deve vincere assolutamente per sperare nella salvezza, tant'è vero che è a 33 punti, a pari punti con l'Uesca. Eh, deve però appunto vincere anche perché la differenza a reti è peggiore, quindi assolutamente deve ottenere la vittoria. La Terrick Bilbao, due sconfitte e due pareggi, una vittoria nelle ultime cinque. Nell'ultima di campionato ha um, perso 1-0 in casa con Real Madrid e nella penultima um, ha perso proprio con l'Uesca fuori casa 1-0, quindi viene a due sconfitte consecutive. Anche qui l'Atletico sembra ormai non avere più motivazioni, dopo che la squadra di Garcia Toral comunque però ha disputato veramente un ottimo campionato perché l'Atletico è eh, nono con 46 punti, una squadra molto quadrata, che subisce poco, segna poco, però eh, comunque ha ottenuto un'ottima posizione. Quindi ricapitolando, la nostra doppia è Crotone Fiorentina 1 e Elce Athletic 1. Voglio dare un livello di confidenza 2 a questa giocata perché ecco, sono veramente le ultime partite del campionato e sono comunque difficili da eh, pronosticare perché al di là poi delle motivazioni che ci possono essere eh, sono ci sono sempre risultati particolari nelle ultime giornate di campionato. Quindi livello di confidenza 2. Come al solito per, giocare, per ricordarvi di giocare responsabilmente auguro un po' calcio a tutti e vi do a te la linea Simone. Ciao a tutti! Thank you, Luca, and let's hope that we can get more winning bets coming from you. Luca has been in fantastic form both in April and May. is uh, uh, posting a nice profit in most of those two months. And uh, we really want to finish off the, um, this month in, in a profit so that we can focus on the Euro and hopefully win even more bets. So uh, make sure you subscribe to our channel if you haven't done it before. All you need to do is to click on the subscribe button after you have logged in into your YouTube account. And also, very important, hit the bell as that will allow you to get notification as soon as you release new videos. 
and in this way you will not lose anything and uh, you will get the maximum from our content if you like the show or if you manage to get you to win some bets please put a big thumbs up i've seen you putting a lot of thumbs up in the recent days that is very very important it's much appreciated from us and allow us to grow the channel further and produce more and more videos for you in addition to that, as I said before, if you like some of the bets that we suggest in this show, don't need to scribble anything or going up and down in the video to find the bets. You just need to look at the description below as we placed all the links of the bets that we suggested that uh, as soon as you click, they will load up on the bookmaker that we have selected because of the best possible odds for our tips. Obviously, odds are subject to change, so double check them before betting. That concludes our show for today. As I said, we will be back for Sunday. We have uh, uh, the final day of the Premier League, of course. So we will provide you more tips for that. But uh, uh, for the time being, if you decide to play some of the bets, I wish you great luck and also uh, enjoy the football. Uh, but always remember to gamble responsibly. Bye now. I'll see you tomorrow.